who knows better you or Allah Allah knows the future we were just guessing it when it came to our children Allah knows everything Allah knows that which was, that which is, that which will be, that which will not be, if it were to be how it would have been, Allah knows it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Call out to me and I will respond to you. Did he say, call out to me and I will give you exactly what you want? You ask for something so dangerous. You want to marry this guy. I want to marry this guy and my parents and my siblings and my this and it's not possible and it doesn't. And I think of this knife with a little baby. Would you give the baby the knife? Subhanallah. So you can scream, you can yell. Allah says you're not getting it. And you know what? Is it a sign of love or hate when you don't give your child the knife? Tell me. Extreme love, right? extreme love it's Allah's total unconditional love for you that makes him not give you things as a positive response for your dua when you desperately want this job and Allah says I know the future I know the future to the degree that what is never ever going to happen and it was not written to happen if it were to happen how it would have played out I already know it so I love you so much because of your dua you're calling to me you're crying to me and I'm never ever going to give you this particular thing one day in the hereafter if you want me to play your video I will play it for you do you know what that means if you get to the hereafter and if your mind still has in it something of this nature Allah says you'll get it what does that mean? You know, Allah says about Jannah, you get whatever you want. Okay. There's one catch. You can only think about what you want. Once you get into Jannah with our small minds here right now, we won't know what is available in Jannah. What I mean is in this world, whatever we have and whatever we like is all from the earth. It's going to remain here. It does not qualify to come into Jannah. It does not qualify to come into Jannah because it is from the earth. That's why the hadith says when you get to Jannah, فِيهَا مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرْ In paradise, there is that which no eyes have ever seen, no ears have ever heard of or heard and no, it has not crossed the heart or the minds of anyone. It hasn't. So, I'm going to really be amazed and amused and impressed by what is in Jannah, in paradise. I'll give you an example. And I've given this example in the past. What car do you like? A Ferrari. What car do you like? Aston Martin. What car do you like? Mercedes. However, do you have an Aston Martin? You don't. Do you have a... You don't. Do you have... You don't. Okay. Would you like one in Jannah? Would you like one in Jannah? Okay. Would you like one in Jannah? Would you like one in Jannah? All three of you have asked for something that's not going to be in Jannah. There are no Aston Martins, no Mercedes. Trust me, it's not there. If you've seen it here, it's not there. Do you know why? Which Mercedes do you like? Let, I want to show you and prove to you something. Which Mercedes do you like? Okay. Did you hear that, guys? It's a model that I don't even know about. Say it again. Okay. GT okay subhanallah Mercedes GT wow fancy my brother I'll tell you something in 10 years when he sees that car he likes now he won't want it himself here in the dunya forget about the akhirah you follow what I'm saying in 10 years when we when I was young I used to look at these uncles driving these BMWs and I'm thinking wow one day and I used to say, ah, we'll get it in Jannah. Don't worry. Tell my little brother, don't worry. Jannah, just need your salah. Taraweeh, do all the prayer properly. That BM will be waiting for you in Jannah. Now that I've grown up and learned, <laughs> that was such a cheap shot. Subhanallah. 
I promise you. It's not going to be in paradise. I don't even want that car that I saw that time right now and I'm on earth. I still haven't even gone beyond and I don't want it anymore. Imagine how many of you want the Galaxy S20. All of us, right? If we were distributing free galaxies, subhanallah, we would all want it. Next year, you won't want it. You're going to want the Galaxy S30 or 21, whichever one they choose. Right next year, you don't want it. So that goes to show you, my brothers and sisters, this world is just a deception. Like Allah says, it is a deception. It, it will keep moving and it will con you. And when you get too engrossed in materialism, you, you don't even know what's good for you. Subhanallah. Uh, you know, people normally, and they do say this, honestly, I've come across it. They mean it from the bottom of their hearts. They say, if I go to paradise and the spouse I'm going to have there is the spouse I have here. I don't even want to go to paradise. <laughs> there are people who say this. I've heard it with my own ears. Subhanallah. But I tell them, listen, listen, listen. Let's first get to paradise. Allah says, when you are there, whatever you want, when you are there, you will get it. We won't let you down. You'll be so occupied with what there is that the hadith says, when a person enters paradise, they will stand just looking at what is theirs for 500 years. For 500 years, you're just going to stand and go, <gasps> imagine 500 years. I don't even know how that's going to be. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. 500 years. You're standing and just looking at this. May Allah grant us ease. When you get there, you'll see other things. And I don't want to burst your bubble, but when you get there and you ask Allah when you are there, Subhanallah, and you, this is Jannah. Allah says, you know what? You did what I wanted in the world. I will do what you want in the hereafter forever and ever. You're going to have eternal bliss. But in this world, I will not give you things that I know are detrimental and harmful for you. I won't. You want some things? You want a job. I know if you had the job, you would have done this and that would have happened and there would have been an embarrassment and you would have been this and that and either you would be hurt so badly or embarrassed so badly or something negative would have happened that you would never be able to shoulder. So Allah says, I'm not giving you that job. And you want another one and a third one. And then you say, Allah hates me. Don't you sound like the little baby who doesn't have the knife. And then they say, my father hates me. My mother hates me. And you and I know the moms and dads actually love their kids. It was out of love that I didn't give this to you. And I still won't. Call me what you want. Say what you want. Scream and yell all night. Cry all night. I will not give it to you because I love you more than you'll ever imagine. Subhanallah.